So I've been rocking the M1 Max MacBook Pro since release, and it's been a great computer. I got the one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, and I've loved it. But I've wanted a desktop for a while because I'm doing most of my work back in my battle station anyways, and I didn't feel like upgrading the laptop when I'm not even gonna use the built-in screen half the time. So I decided to get the M4 Mac Mini base model because I already have a gazillion SSDs. And I got the configuration that has 16 gigs of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. And honestly, I think Apple probably should have put a 512 in this. We all know it because apps and downloaded files really can add up fast on this machine. But I've been super impressed with how fast the computer operates, especially for the low price of $600. And the fact that they finally added the USB-C ports to the front of it, there's a headphone jack on the front of it, which is great. Three Thunderbolt ports on the back, Ethernet, HDMI. It's all you really need. I mean, this has everything you need in a desktop computer, and you can always add a dock later on if you want to customize the different ports that you have with it. And I use a dock anyway, so I can swap back and forth between my desktop and laptop. But as I've gotten to use this computer, I've been really impressed with the speed on it. Everything runs really well. Final Cut runs really well. All the other apps I've used have run fantastic on it. But there's just one thing about the Mac Mini that makes me a little unhappy with it, and I've honestly thought about sending it back. I've just kept going back and forth on if I should keep it or not. And the biggest con of this computer is just the fact that it's not a video exporting machine. So it edits video fantastically. I've had no issues with running 4K clips across the timeline. Scroll super smooth. It does bog down a little bit whenever I start to do more with 6K or if I'm doing multicam and I'm not using optimized or proxy media. So then it definitely slows down quite a bit with that type of footage. But other than that, it's running really great. The biggest drawback to it that I found is the video export times have just tanked compared to my M1 Max MacBook Pro. And I do a lot of video content. And I know most people say, well, just go do something else while you're editing and exporting videos. But for me, sometimes I'll be exporting five or 10 videos in one day, and then I'll review them all after I export them. So that can really add up the total amount of time that it's gonna take you to get your videos done. So that's really the biggest drawback I found with this is just the export times. There's a ton of different benchmarks and tests people have ran. I thought about doing a bunch of my own tests on it, and I just found some other videos that I think already do a fantastic job at it. And at first I thought I was a little crazy, and I thought maybe I was making the export thing up but everyone else has said the same thing where the M1 Max and the M2 Max are just faster computers at exporting stuff than this one is. So that's really the only thing I haven't liked about the Mac Mini. It's supporting the Mac Studio display really well. I just got the LG Dual up. It's running both of those just fine with multiple displays and going back and forth, having multiple tabs open, multitasking. It's really not bogging down at all unless I'm doing very intensive video editing with color correction and multiple clips playing at the same time, multi-cam edits, or the video exporting. So I think the biggest drawback for someone like me is my main job is editing videos. So having a machine that's not the best for editing videos definitely is a little bit of a drawback and it makes me just wanna keep using my M1 Max MacBook Pro. But I think the reason to keep the Mac Mini is because it handles all the Apple intelligence stuff so well. It handles all the newer Final Cut features better than the M1 Max, except for exporting videos because the M4 chip doesn't have the same video encoders as what the M1 Max has. So really the big con to the M4 Mac Mini is just the fact that I think a lot of people are going to want this to be just the most fantastic computer in the world. And it's an amazing value, but if you start upgrading anything at all, it pushes you closer and closer to the Mac Studio territory. So I also was looking at getting the M4 Pro model of it. It's got the same video exporting issues. It exports videos just as fast as the base model one because there's no additional video encoders like what is going to be on the M4 Max chip. So the main answer to the problem right now, if I wanted to make everything better, I would just go get an M4 Max MacBook Pro, and I would be getting much better performance, but I just don't want to spend the extra money to have worse thermal performance and to have a screen that I'm really not going to use that much anyways. I'd rather just keep my M1 Max for whenever I'm traveling or not working at my desk here at home, and I can take it anywhere and still get really great performance, and then do all my other projects from the M4 Mac Mini. But again, it doesn't have the chip that I would like. So Basically, all I'm trying to say in this video is if you're a video editor and you're not doing a ton of video edits with high resolution 6K footage or multi-cam clips, this computer is awesome. I edited a ton of videos on it and it worked great. But just know if you're trying to batch a ton of stuff at the same time, exporting a ton of content, this is not going to be the best option for you because it is going to run slower on those export times. So basically, just think of this. If a clip takes you about three minutes to export on 
an M1 Max chip, then it's probably gonna take about six or seven minutes to export on this computer. That's pretty consistent with what I found. But other than that, the M4 Mac Minis are great. They're just not batch exporting machines like the Mac Studio or the MacBook Pros. If you have any thoughts on the M4 Mac Mini, do you think I should keep it? Should I return it? I've got a little bit longer to decide. Let me know in the comments down below. Also like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.